Hello, my name is Robert Shahan. I'm the author and developer of GraphPad, a touch-based engineering drawing application for the iPad. Today I'm going to discuss the general features and functions of the application. When you first log into GraphPad, you're going to see just a blank sheet of graph paper. And you can enter the design in two fashions. You can either go into a sketcher mode where you can trace out an outline with your finger, or you can just select lines and add lines and points. And so in the line mode, we're just going to create a real Tri a triangle really quickly just by touching and creating the lines. The power of GraphPad is in the dimensions. So once we've created our design, we can just click on a line and we'll get a dimension. And now what you would do in the real world is you'd actually measure something and you'd scale your drawing to fit it. So this could actually be closer to seven feet, in which case we would just take the slider and move it over. We can then go into points mode and we can move points around. Generally, the best way to, to move a point around is to create a selection area, and we do that by going into points mode and then clicking uh, at some blank part of the screen and then dragging. And we'll get this nice gray area. Once we've grabbed that gray area, then we can just put our finger anywhere inside of it and then drag it. And so if we wanted this to be seven, inch, seven feet precisely, we just drag it over and release. Now you notice that when you do it this way, you have two advantages. One is, is if you just use your finger to touch the point and drag across, um, you wouldn't actually have the accuracy because you, your finger would cover up the point. Um, so that's one huge advantage. And then the other advantage is you can create, uh, you can grab huge areas of the, the graph. So for example, if you want to grab these two points, let's go ahead and put a dimension on the other line and say we wanted this to be six feet. We could go into points mode, create a selection area, and then drag it up, and we could see that we're getting the, uh, the dimension adjusting accordingly. We can also create dimensions for angles, and we do that by going into dimensions mode and then clicking on the vertices of two points, and we get an angle. We're going to create another one over here. Another power of GraphPad is it moves very smoothly. So say, for example, we want to move this point over, we would actually see the angles shifting along with it, which makes it very easy in order to um, create a new design. A huge feature which has been requested by everybody is an undo capability and so we now have two buttons undo and redo and so we can click back and go to where we started from. Uh, we can actually go all the way back through the design and we have a redo where we can actually go forward as well. Okay. So in addition we can actually create arcs um, arcs, we go into the arcs mode, and then we click on the vertices of two lines, and we create an arc. If we do not have, uh, if we want to create a circle, we would just click out in a blank area of the screen, and we create a circle. The radius, uh, default radius, is determined by the settings panel. So if we go over to settings, we can see, we can actually change this, and we can slide this over. Notice that the dimensions are in the same dimensions that we have for our drawing. So if we switch this over from, um, English to uh, metric and then had meters, then we see the radius in meters here. Okay. To eliminate something that we don't want, um, and this is for any object, we do a double click. So in the arcs mode, if we want to get rid of a circle, we just go to the center of the circle and double click, and it disappears. So in the case of cleaning up this corner here, um, we've got the arc. And we, what we probably don't want to have is these extra lines, and so we would just double click um, on the lines and then recreate. Uh, similarly, go over here, double click, and recreate. Uh, again, as we move our points around and we go to points mode in order to move the design, we can actually create the, uh, the entire, we can grab the entire area, move it down, or we can grab a particular point, and we notice that the arc is going to move nicely along with this. And this is a very powerful uh, feature of the application. In addition, we can have arrows. Um, the type of arrowhead is determined again by the settings panel, set to gap in this case. Um, we have a single arrowhead, which is nice for a callout. So say for example, we want to call out for this angle, go into arrows mode, click on the screen and create the angle, and then we can use the two handles in order to adjust it. Okay, and then drag it over. Again, if we wanted to get rid of it, We'll do it over here. If we create a arrow and we double click on the center red dot, that deletes it. Text works very similar. We go to text mode and we create an area for the text. 
notice that as a keyboard comes up that the area actually moves up but it'll pop back down um, and be where we placed it before and here we can just put in some uh, text for example radius and I believe that was um, 0 0.6 feet as a radius go to dismiss the keyboard by clicking on the dismiss keyboard button and then we can actually grab the handle and move our text around that's the general features of the application in addition to that we do have the ability to save and restore we can send an email, uh, basically just uh, click on the email button and we can see the design that we're going to be sending across, to draft in this case. Uh, we also have multiple pages as we saw in our example. Um, and that's how GraphPad works. Uh, it's now currently available at the App Store for $4.99. Thank you very much.